There are always new archaeological discoveries that amaze us. Some things are easy to explain and yet touch us because we realize that we haven't actually changed as much as we might think. Would you have thought, for example, that drugs were already being used over 2,000 years ago? The findings transport us to another world and, at the same time, bring us a little closer to our own. Are you fascinated by mysterious things and archaeological discoveries? Then give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Hidden Worlds, and join us on our journey. Golden Hookahs Golden water pipes that are already over 2,000 years old have now been discovered by archaeologists in Russia. The vessels are made of pure gold and originally come from what is now Iran. The researchers also found remnants of cannabis and opium inside the vessels. It's assumed that these substances were already consumed in the past. The discovery is very interesting, especially for us today, because it proves that the consumption of addictive substances began thousands of years ago and served different purposes. Scientists assumed that the people at that time produced a mixture of opium and cannabis to celebrate victories. It's also possible, however, that the drugs were also intended to give courage before a possible battle. This would make sense because opium and cannabis have a relaxing effect and could possibly also counteract anxiety. In addition, they often produced hallucinations, which could possibly also make a warrior believe that he is invulnerable. Besides the valuable vessels, the researchers also found rings and bracelets. Huge Mayan Palace Archaeologists have discovered a huge Maya complex in southern Mexico. They succeeded in doing so by using special laser scanners. The find is considered particularly spectacular and offers us surprising new insights into a society that lived over 300 years ago. The site that the researchers have now discovered is said to be the oldest and largest monumental site that existed in the Maya culture to date. By the way, it was discovered in the state of Tabasco. We can even see dams, reservoirs and plateaus from the air. The construction is said to date back to 1000 BC. It was likely modified again and again over 200 years and provided space for an incredible number of people. Scientists assumed that this site was therefore probably built for an almost hierarchy-free community. Moreover, no sculptures of individuals were found. It's therefore assumed that the Maya lived in the early phase practically without social differences and had a rather classless society. Communal work was of great importance to the people. 7,000-year-old dam We knew that the levels in the Mediterranean Sea rose considerably after the last ice age. As a result, many cities on the coast sank. Researchers have now discovered a dam that is more than 7,000 years old and shows that people were fighting the water back then. Today, we have to deal with floods again and again. Climate change is not making things any better, and we assume that some islands and coastal regions will be doomed sooner or later. It was no different back in the day. The climate also changed, and we can imagine the consequences only too well today. Tel Reis, located in what is now Israel, was a coastal settlement that was inhabited for 300 to 500 years. At that time, it was still at safe height, about 2 meters above sea level. But rising tides changed the situation of the city, which was now in danger of sinking. The Stone Age inhabitants of the region tried to protect the city from the floods with a stone wall. So they built an enclosure about 100 meters long. Today, this structure is considered to be the oldest construction of a coastal defense system known to us. Existence of the Visby Lenses Likely some of the most impressive evidence of the Vikings and their jewelry design are the so-called Visby Lenses. These are pendants made of rock crystal that were found in Gotland, a Swedish island. Due to their incredible distribution, they are a special feature of Viking jewelry. The objects date from the 11th or 12th century and were found in several Viking graves. Many of them were set in wonderful holders made of silver, which is why it's now assumed that the stones served as jewelry. People in the past also liked to decorate themselves with beautiful things. The lenses are not only beautifully crafted, but are of course genuine handicrafts that can no longer be found today. It's precisely this fact that makes them even more valuable. The Archelon The Archelon is a genus of sea turtle that is now extinct. 
The genus dates back to the Upper Cretaceous and was discovered in North America. The animal reached a length of about 4.5 meters. Today, we can hardly imagine turtles of this size. We assume that this size could give the turtle sufficient protection from its enemies. The bony part of the shell could therefore be reduced. This made it easier to move around in the water. The turtle had no teeth. It was likely an omnivore that fed on plants and jellyfish. Shield from the Iron Age An iron shield found in 2015 has now been studied more thoroughly. Now we understand better how these objects were once made. The unique shield was found in the south of Leicester, near Enderby. It appeared that the shield had been badly damaged before slowly decomposing over the centuries. A small hole was discovered, likely from a spear. Whether this damage occurred during a fight or in ritual is unclear. Closer examination revealed that the shield bears a strong resemblance to other shields found in the region, yet it's partly made of different materials. Shields from the Iron Age are not a rare find. It's always interesting to see how people even then use their skills and knowledge to produce different weapons and utensils. For us, these signs do not always seem like relics from the past, but sometimes seem amazingly timeless. Even today, these objects could still possibly be used. Stone Mask A stone mask has now been found in Israel that is believed to be over 9,000 years old. The artifact dates back to the Neolithic period and was discovered by archaeologists. The mask is considered a unique find for the world and is made of yellow pink limestone. It immediately reminds us of a human face. It was carved with stone tools. It has two large holes for eyes. There is also a small elevation as a nose. Even the mouth and teeth are indicated. There are also four holes in the edges. Presumably, these serve to fasten the mask so that it could actually be worn. It's unclear what the mask was used for and when it was worn. Perhaps it was worn during a battle, or was it intended for ritual purposes? In any case, it's a sensational discovery and shows us that people were already making masks more than 9,000 years ago. Sebastio's Hand This is the figure of a right hand making a gesture of blessing. The hand is connected with the so-called Sebastios cult. It was carried on staffs during processions. The hand is also used in domestic cults and sanctuaries and is decorated with various ornaments. You can see a snake, a pine cone, a ram's head, a vase, likely an insect, the bust of Hermes or Mercury, a focaccia, a fish, a turtle, a pair of scales, a lizard, and the winged staff of Mercury. It is above all the reference to Hermes that underlines the role of Sebastio. He was born through the union of Persephone with Zeus. It is a companion of the soul. The scales are likely meant to remind us of the divine judgment on the souls of all believers. At that time, every soul had to be weighed before it could enter the afterlife. The hand is something unique that even today is readily sold as a replica. The Pazaric Persian Carpet The Pazaric Carpet is the oldest surviving carpet that we know of. The carpet was made using an elaborate knotting technique and dates from the 5th to 4th century BC. Today, it is exhibited in the Hermitage in the city of St. Petersburg, Russia. The carpet was found in 197 by Russian archaeologists in the Altai Mountains in southern Siberia. The carpet thus comes from a region that lies on the border with Mongolia. The beautiful carpet owes its name to the place where it was found, the Pazaric High Dry Valley. The carpet was part of a burial chamber belonging to a prince. Other finds, such as felt carpets, were also discovered. The carpet's high level of knotting refinement is what makes it so special. It originally measured 183 by 198 centimeters, which means that it had more than 1 million knots. Researchers assume that it was already a mature knotting technique at that time. In order to produce such a carpet, one needed many years of experience, so it must have been a tradition. By the way, the carpet is made of virgin wool. Golden Cannonball who among us hasn't gone in search of a little treasure while out on the beach? We likely usually found shells or other small treasures that the sea likes to spit out. But a man in England managed to find a golden cannonball on the beach, which later turned out to be a fossil that is 185 million years old. The ball was found in the sandy beach at Whitby. The medical student opened it and discovered the fossil, which dates back to a long time ago. Archaeological finds are not only evidence of our existence long before our time, 
but also exciting things that can bring us a little closer to the past. Again and again, we have to admit to ourselves that people in the past were not so different as we are today. Abandoned places often seem mysterious and exert a very special attraction on the viewer. It's not only photographers who are almost magically attracted by the lost places, as each abandoned place has its own unique history and charm. Dreamer's Gate Just outside the Australian town of Collecte in New South Wales, you'll find Dreamer's Gate, a very special lost place. Behind this mysterious and abandoned place once stood a vision, because the Australian artist Tony Fantastis wanted to create a unique work of art to document the land use practices, and also to remember his late father, who worked as a ranger. Accordingly, Dreamer's Gate is also known as Homage to My Father, Homage to the Dead Bush Ranger, or Homage to the Landscape. To realize his vision, the artist purchased land to implement his Dreamer's Gate plans. In 1993, construction began on a controversial sculpture, which, with its gothic structure, looks as if it's come from another era. Unfortunately, the fascinating work of art was never completed. Local authorities halted construction in 1999, and a long and expensive legal battle began for the artist, as authorities deemed the wire and cement artwork structurally unstable. Despite the halt in construction, Dreamer's Gate is still a unique eye-catcher, standing at a height of 7 meters and a length of 24 meters. The gate and adjoining fence have an absolutely mystical effect and create a fascinating overall picture with the one behind it. Currently, the artist's daughter is also interested in tackling the project again with him after a 20-year break, and so it could be that Dreamer's Gate will perhaps be completed one day after all. The Time Capsule House Not only for fans of the 1960s, the Time Capsule Cottage is one of the most fascinating lost places in the world. The house, in which the 1960s has been preserved, was discovered by an urban explorer and photographer who discovered the abandoned place during a tour of the Denby Moors in North Wales. The property seems to have simply been forgotten, as it's clear that no one has been here for decades. Walking through the rooms, the photographer captured the state of the house as everything is still in its place, from the piano to decorative items, pictures, china, and much more. Even the beds are still made, and inside the closets you can find the clothes of the former residents. Of course, the ravages of time have gnawed at the property, and so the tablets are no longer firmly attached to the wall, and furniture lies covered with mold. But nevertheless, this lost place shows the reality of life in the 1960s like no other. Abandoned Soviet Laboratory Abkhazia on the Black Sea is now known as a vacation region bordering the Caucasus, but there are also mysterious places to discover in the region. The Research Laboratory No. 5 of the Research Institute 400 is especially impressive for lovers of mysterious abandoned places. It's a Torpedo Research Institute, which was later named Gidra Pribor. It was established by decision of the Defense Committee of the USSR in 1944. The laboratory in Abkhazia was one of the most important test sites, as it was a unique marine laboratory where torpedoes and mines were tested for their properties. The exterior alone is impressive, as there is much to discover on the site, from old weathered trucks to rusted halls and testing facilities left to their own devices, which have now merged with nature. Inside the buildings, you will find not only measuring equipment, but also torpedoes still rusting away, a library left to itself, telephones, desks, record players and tape recorders, as well as filing cabinets, some of which are still full. The special magic here also lies in the fact that hardly anyone planning a vacation in Abkhazia on the Black Sea would expect to find this dilapidated secret here. Tunnels under the streets of Ybor City In the bustling city of Tampa, Florida, a very special lost place can be found in the historic Ybor City neighborhood. Underneath are several tunnels that have been a topic of discussion in the city for decades. There are many fascinating stories surrounding the tunnel system, as the tunnels are said to have been built or used by smugglers. The masonry tunnel system is constructed in such a way that most adults can only walk through while slightly bent over. 
Excavations have now revealed that the tunnels were constructed as a sewer and stormwater drain. Built between 1885 and the late 1890s, the system resembles 19th century sewer systems found in other cities. According to a 1927 plan, the tunnels are marked as storm sewers. Even though the stories about smugglers are almost certainly not true, the tunnels, which are 1.52 meters high and just as wide, are fascinating. However, according to legend, the Ebor City smuggling tunnel was used to smuggle alcohol and Chinese prostitutes within the city. Mobsters like Ignacio Antinori are said to have used the tunnel system extensively, as the tunnels run between the city's former casinos and brothels. The Gingerbread Castle Many people build gingerbread houses for Christmas out of gingerbread and icing. Some may have dreamed of gingerbread castles, but hardly anyone has yet come up with the idea of turning this dream into a reality. But in the city of Hamburg in New Jersey, a small castle has arisen, inspired by the fairy tale Hansel and Gretel. It was a small amusement park which became known as the Gingerbread Castle and attracted hundreds of visitors every day. Today, the former family destination has been abandoned and its glory years are long gone. Furthermore, the Gingerbread Castle, which once filled children's hearts with joy, has become an enchanting lost place. Slowly, nature is taking over the castle and climbing plants have made their way into the interior, adding to the fairy tale character of the castle built by Fred Henry Bennett. Matsuo Mine In Japan's Iwate Prefecture, in the former village of Matsuo, is the Matsuo Mine, which operated from 1914 to 1979. Today, the Matsuo area is part of the Hachimantai city area and is considered a ghost town. However, at one time, the settlement created at the Matsuo sulfur mine was considered a paradise above the clouds. Here arose a large housing complex which had over 15,000 residents. The apartments were very luxurious in their time and were already equipped with central heating, modern toilets and garbage chutes. In addition, there was a school, hospital and also a cinema. The workers of the sulfur mine and their families would lack nothing. With the closure of the mine, workers and their families left the town and all of the wooden buildings were destroyed, but the blocks of reinforced concrete houses remained. Today, the scenery looks post-apocalyptic. Where once children played and families lived, now a somewhat eerie atmosphere prevails, as the ghost town on the mountain was hastily abandoned. Left behind are many everyday objects that bear witness to the former life in the homes, school, and other buildings. Quaylap Fortress In Peru, near the towns of Maria and Tingo, lies the so-called Quaylap Fortress from the 6th century, a settlement surrounded by a city wall. Towering over the Utcubamba Valley, the ruins of the settlement bear witness to an ancient civilization. Consisting of about 400 stone-built buildings, the fortress is considered the largest stone ruin in the New World. Boulders ten times larger than the rocks used to build the Giza Pyramid were used here. The buildings of the settlement accommodated thousands of inhabitants, and archaeologists surmise that the city was abandoned in 1570. Quaylap was rediscovered only in 1843 by Juan Crisotomo Nieto, and since then, archaeologists have continued to come and explore the city. The surprising details of the buildings make this abandoned place a very special highlight. Hillendale Bridge Secluded and abandoned in Cleveland's woods, the brick Hillendale Bridge leads to nowhere. Built in the 1920s, the bridge was intended to lead to a planned new housing development, but in the wake of the Great Depression, the construction project was abandoned in the 1930s, and in the post-war years, both the planned development and the bridge have been forgotten. This beautiful bridge is a jewel from the early automobile age. With its high arches, it carries the road leading through the forest over a steep ravine and a small stream that meanders through the idyllic forest area. Today, the road and bridge are accessible only to hikers and the abandoned automobile bridge has become a popular photo motif. At the end of the bridge, there are still remains of old brick houses and some foundations of an older bridge that once crossed the gorge. Madame Cherie's Castle In New Hampshire, near Chesterfield, Madame Cherie's Castle can be found. Where once glittering feasts and fabled parties were held is now one of the most magical abandoned places in the world. 
Once upon a time, Madame Antoinette Chury invited her friends from the world of theatre to the castle in the woods, because the castle was the summer residence of the costume designer from New York. In the 1920s, she began to buy land to build her extravagant summer residence, which was created entirely according to her taste. For Madame Chury, the best was only good enough, and so a kind of modern castle was created. When Madame Chury could no longer afford the country estate, she simply moved on and left the castle unoccupied. In 1962, most of the structure burnt down, but nevertheless, part of the masonry, the staircase, the foundation, the chimney and some columns remained. Although the building was built in the 1920s, today's ruins look as if they were from the Middle Ages and fit perfectly into New Hampshire's romantic natural landscape. The Abandoned Power Station The Belgian city of Charleroi is home to a mesmerizing abandoned site that will delight more than just those interested in technology. The abandoned power plant in the monsieur sur chambre neighborhood was built in 1921 and was one of the largest coal-fired power plants in Belgium. The cooling tower attracts the most attention. Until 1977, the power plant was the main energy supplier for the Charleroi region. Just seven years earlier, it was modernized, but its days were numbered. The power plant operated until 2007, when it was closed due to protests that arose the previous year, when it became known that the power plant was responsible for 20% of Belgium's carbon dioxide emissions. After the closure, metal collectors looted the site, but today nature has taken over and the concrete elements of the power plant are overgrown with moss. Scientists in a wide variety of fields have managed to decipher mysterious places and situations in one way or another. With advances in technology and more widely available knowledge, it's becoming easier to develop an understanding of certain phenomena that perhaps could not have been explained in the past. But even though quite significant progress has been made here in recent years, there are still many places in the world where scientists cannot really explain certain peculiarities. The big question is whether science will succeed in solving the last mysteries here as well. Royal Kurgan The principle behind tumuli is known from excavations around the world. Long before true cemeteries came into existence, mounds were a way to lay significant people of historical societies to eternal rest in a proper burial. While many of the mounds appear rather rudimentary and simple, the Royal Kurgan Mound is an architectural feature and perhaps the pinnacle of architecture in the Crimea. It's more like a fortress or a temple where it is believed that 200 burials can be found. The remarkable building was built by a king. The big question is, according to which plans was the tomb once built and what was inside it? When researchers opened the tomb for the first time in the 19th century, only the remains of a wooden sarcophagus could be found. It can therefore be assumed that the tomb had been looted long before. Thus, the mystery remains who was the creator of this structure and what was inside. Obelisk of Ozdun in Armenia Armenia was already centuries ago a disputed country, which was rubbed up between Hindu, Muslim and Christian armies. This explains the various forms of archaeological finds and objects that can still be found on the territory of Armenia today. One of them is the Obelisk of Ozdun. Ozdun is a small town located on the edge of a mountain range, from which one can enjoy a beautiful view of the countryside. A special feature is a church that was built here as early as the 5th century. Right next to the church, there is the unusual obelisk. The mystery is what purpose the obelisk would be placed for. It's a double obelisk, which is rarely seen, and actually there is no reason why it should be in this particular place. Therefore, experts assume that it could be the memory of a great battle between Hindus and Christians that took place many hundreds of years ago. Smaller clues in the church itself also point to this. However, the mystery of the strange obelisk of Ozdun is still unsolved. Huge Chimney In the middle of the eastern part of Malaysia, while traveling through the countryside, you suddenly come across a gigantic chimney that doesn't seem like it belongs here. The chimney stands in an open field and is not very unusual in any other way. It's simply a very tall structure made of red bricks, which also has a ladder inside. But why is it placed here? What is the purpose of the chimney? There is no house nearby. 
Researchers have various theories about its purpose and origin. It could be that it was built to match the former mining activities. Others believe that it was going to be part of a house that was not built. A final theory plays with the idea of whether the chimney was used for charcoal burning work. All in all, the chimney still raises many questions today, and it's not certain if a solution will ever be found at all. Teatro Andromeda It doesn't necessarily have to be historical buildings that seem mysterious and mystical. In Italy, more precisely in the mountain village of Santo Stefano Chischina, rises a theater that was created only in the 1980s. It's the creation of farmer and artist Lorenzo Reina. With his theater, which adapts to the course of the Andromeda Nebula and, moreover, follows the courses of the stars and the sun, Reina has created a life's work and realized his passion. The theater is accompanied by a breathtaking view of the valley and, especially at night, the starry sky can be seen so clearly it's difficult for someone from the big city to even imagine. The artist himself has spoken very little about his theatre, and so the big question remains whether one or more secrets might still be hiding in this beautiful building. Hanging Temple Built in China 1500 years ago, the Hanging Temple finally underwent restoration in the early 20th century. A fine thing to do because it's one of the forgotten architectural wonders. Looking at the temple from the valley, it appears as if it defies gravity and simply floats in the air. In fact, it's the ingenious conception in the mountain itself that makes the temple seem to fly in the air. The peculiarity of the temple is not only its architectural style, but also the fact that all three major religions of China are represented here. The construction method was created by the fact that the builder once likely rammed bamboo sticks deep into the rock and built the temple upon them. The exact method of construction is now hidden deep in the rock, and so to this day most people wonder how such an impressive structure could have been built over 1500 years ago and by such simple means. The Temples of Mankind Another example of modern enigmatic structures are the so-called Temples of Mankind at foot of the Italian Alps. Even the story of their creation is a bit obscure. Oberto Eraudi said that he had visions of ancient temples at the age of 10. So, in his later years, he simply began building underground caverns in the rocks beneath his house near Turin. It started with a good two dozen workers, and later there were hundreds of workers here, working cubic meter after cubic meter of stone out of rock and building beautiful temple rooms. Visitors report that up to 30 temple rooms have that new age flair, and the concept behind the temples underground is a kind of journey to oneself. Others claim that Eraudi founded a cult here. Whether this is true, we cannot say, but the temples themselves are without a question a small wonder. The Virgin Tower of Baku the Maiden's Tower in Baku is one of the absolute sites of the capital of Azerbaijan and also one of the most famous sites in the country. Its architecture alone is remarkable, yet restoration was only possible in recent years because the Caspian Sea changed its sea level so often that certain parts of the tower were either completely submerged or at least parts of the bastion disappeared. Besides the beauty of the building, however, there are many legends and myths associated with it. There is the story of the princess who threw herself from the tower when her father went to marry her. Another tells of sieges that were ended with the help of prayers at the very top. To this day, excavations are taking place to learn more about this mysterious tower in the heart of Baku. Mojave Megaphone In the middle of the Mojave Desert, fixed on two hills, there is an object that resembles a megaphone. Without question, the object was created in this way, only no one can explain what it's doing here, who built it, and what purpose the object really serves. We are in the absolute no-man's land of the desert, and there are hardly any human settlements, even in the indirect vicinity of the megaphone. Theories say that the object was used as a siren when the army conducted tests with dangerous weapons. Others believe that it's the remains of a native instrument. Nobody can explain it, and therefore this mystery will likely remain unsolved for quite a while. Japanese Tunnels of Baguio In Baguio in the Philippines, an extensive network of tunnels extends beneath the city proper. At one time, there was a strong American presence of soldiers here, which led to the city being one of the first targets Japan attacked in the Philippines during World War II. 
It didn't bring the Japanese any real luck, however. Three years later, the surrender of Japanese troops in the Philippines would take place. By then, however, they had created an extensive network of tunnels under the city. These are preserved to this day and extend to a wide variety of locations. The peculiarity is not only that the network is still not being completely recorded, it's that it also involves a myth. For instance, one of the Japanese generals is said to have hidden his war chest right here. Thus, even now, there are many treasure hunters and adventurers in the city hoping to find this very treasure. Kalugumalai The rock temples of Kalugumalai are among the most impressive objects of the ancient Hindu rulers in this part of India and have occupied archaeologists and historians for years. Little by little, the temples that were once carved into the rock are being uncovered. The beautiful complexes were built with exquisite detail and are still religious sites for pilgrims who pray to their gods. However, to this day, it's not entirely certain by whom and when these temples were built and how the workers managed to create them with the simplest of means. This is typical of this area of India. So far, surprisingly little is known about the history of this impressive subcontinent. What other places can you think of that are still associated with many mysteries or that archaeologists can't really make sense of, even after years of research?